Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome back to RimWorld. I was watching Missa P here. She's got it in mind to, to toss her, her armor vest, but there's nothing there to trade with. We're at 50% of normal and 50% of normal, and alpha beavers have hit. Well, just give me a second. And no, you're just getting rid of it. Okay, alpha beavers are not on this map. There's no little arrow. So they are going to decimate this map over here before we get a chance to get our slate blocks. <laughs> if we ever go get them. Have fun, guys. Actually, it's a herd. So they're not actually going to eat anything. No, they're just going to wander through. Okay, that's that's fine. Have fun with that. Um, sea Stars is going to demonstrate... No, no, she's... No, no. Interesting. Mining, to get them to go somewhere, you have to give them multiple targets because they go for, I don't know, 20 seconds and then they recalculate and they, they skip your orders. I've been trying to get her to walk over and run this. And it's been like pulling teeth. So I guess we're going to have to just babysit this for a while. I did play with a, uh, a wedding chapel idea here. So I've laid out 26 seats. We have 28 we assume the two will be standing right here. Klaus is going to get started. And Handy's going to get started. So let's see what this looks like. Mixing in... Uh, um, oh, Bill has named Alpaca 1 Erica after being nuzzled. Um, mixing in potted plants and sculptures all around the outside. And still don't know what to do with these guys are just kind of hanging around right now so we'll see how this all goes uh sea stars has made her way over to here no uh, she gave up again so mining has got a time limit and what is about mining but it just does not happen so sea stars is set up for mining character uh work is that your number one number one it is let's see if she hangs around longer than everybody else the assumption is that, you know, it should be mining it. That makes sense. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Rabbit got to 6%. Yeah, she just left. So she won't even stay and continue this work. She is going to what? She's going to go dig at granite. So she doesn't even want to run this thing. So, uh, okay. There's, there's, there's issues that have to be solved. That's, I'll leave it at that. If I leave you there, and then I can... No, I can't stack them and tell you to do it 20 times. So I just have to sit here and babysit it. So I'm going to say this is a lost cause for, for Beta 18. It's just not... Uh, it's not functioning right now without babysitting it. It's kind of like uh, trying to train up your melee characters by having them hunt. Since you can't set it to, you have to manually sit there and say, Now hit them. Now no, go back and hit them again. Now, now go hit this one. So it's just not feasible for... 28 characters and, and wanting to wanting to watch them all. So over here, cargo pods, but not here, right? Yeah, not here. Quite dramatic though, and we got a bunch of unfertilized chicken eggs. Wow, that's gonna be squirrel food. And sea stars gave up. Okay, we're we're done with that experiment. It was interesting. But uh, it's done. So let's deconstruct. No longer inspired. I can't move you, so I can only deconstruct you. All right, let's do that. Eric, you busy? You are going off to pray. It must be 20. No, you just have you have some need for it. Okay, let's get you to watch TV. There you go. That'll get that taken care of quicker. So I thought I had laid out the torches. I guess I didn't. So if we put a torch there, already exists there. I just can't see them. Ah, okay. I gotta get somebody to build it. I need a constructor. Kaya, where are you at? You are consuming a meal. Klaus, you are hauling goat hide and making lots of extra room in here. Oh, good. We've already cleared out these. Yeah, we're gonna have our floor picked up here pretty soon. You are headdresses. Where would I have placed you guys? Along with veils. Hmm. You're what? You're there. You are apparel. I want to say this is the spot. Nope, your shield belt and smoke pops. Okay, you, the same. 
over here you are armor vests we have a lot of armor vests okay so you guys are not going to be armor vests now you're going to be uh headgear right there you're going to be war masks and war veils and tribal headdresses all right we'll go with that you are a copy paste we'll do four of them that should be more than enough that's all that's left that's not accounted for as far as places to put it right you're here because you're d and 14 percent and i got rid of this little um dumping pile that i had laid out here it just it just looked funny up there it was a way to get rid of things that uh weren't of the greatest quality just to give them some place to go but eh, we've got room now so i'm going to get them back on shelves where they belong but what i'm getting to is i think i can go ahead and delete this now so no more dropping anything off on the floor there's now a place for everything and this should pretty much guarantee it time that's all done now i got four different kinds of leathers in there so we'll see what that looks like and if it looks random enough or or just what we'll figure it out um, lots of blocks coming in. Good hay coming in. What's going on? We're at 1900. Everyone's going to break for, for joy here in a little bit. Otherwise, we struck compact machineries. That's real? It appears to be real. Okay. Shantigo has been mining like crazy. How are you doing on your, your needs? Your mood's not great because you're in a hideous environment still. Let's just get you to bang through this one over here then I'll send you off to go do new things probably get get you back into the kitchen get your well your joy is all the way up though I just got to get rid of this negative 15 all right so that's where they are mine let's take you out as well you let's rework your schedule Shantigo let's go back to being a chef so mining no and cooking is over there why don't you go do that all right, cooking a survival meal. Get you into a happier place. Though, let's have you actually clean up that happy place. Oh, somebody's been here and did the job. Good. Uh, just have you do the one. All right, you go there and clean up, then you can do what you wish. Okay. Otherwise, 20 hundred. While it's still 20 hundred, tell you what, I want to do a quick roll call. Needs... Whose joy is really bad? Hauling marble chunk to dumping stockpile. Let's get you to watch television. Of course, that could be quite painful trying to get them there. Television or any of the... Ah, there you are. Any of the marble pieces here. They've got a entertainment factor of 110? I thought it was 120 for these. Uh... There's 125, because it's bigger. So this guy and this guy, entertainment factor of 135, are more than enough, that or that. Okay, so handy needs, you're not critical, uh, but you're watching television anyway. Okay, um, we're fine over here. Who's really low on the joy? Klaus, you are meditating. Right there. Uh, Sangria could use something. She's consuming a fine meal, though, and I'll never get her to do anything but that. So, that's a loss. Uh, we're good there. Right there. Sea stars. Watching television. Perfect. Stargazing. Kaya. You look so happy there. I'll leave you. <laughs> Playing poker. Um, and we've got Cyprian, who I wondered why he wasn't doing any more art. He hasn't been arting for a while. And I realized, because we don't have any blocks, I kind of, I, I reset these so that we get, we'd get no more wooden sculptures. We have so many of them, they don't quite look as good. I like the stone sculptures. But, yeah, there's there's no more blocks because we're, we're building with it all. We're, we're laying it out as flooring. Um, anything up here? Not really, though Natalia is jumping in to start making some. Meadow's moving some. So little by little. Um, Cyprian, though, you could use some joy. You're playing billiards. Billiards, you're right there. Yeah, we'll leave you alone with Michael and George and, and Handy. Sure. And we've got Vliss, who... He and Radar. I had 
tear down this old graveyard right there. And boy, what a mess. Now, I it's kind of interesting. Observed rotting corpse times five. Radar had that too. I didn't realize it last episode because I didn't look for it because I read that a psychopath doesn't mind if others are butchered, left unburied, imprisoned, or sold into slavery. So apparently rotting corpses isn't the same as somebody being left unburied. So I freaked him out a little bit. <laughs> Radar, how you doing anyway? Your joy is fine. Your mood is getting better. You've, you've lost the rotting corpse thing. Okay, bliss, yours lasts for another one hour. So it doesn't last that long. It doesn't traumatize him forever. Okay. Um, otherwise, who is not needing Kaya was. Who's not needing joy that can construct? Gnarly, you are in pretty good shape. You're playing poker, though. When you're done, you're up for the night. No, you're not. You aren't because we reset you while you were away. So let's put you back into night crew. Sleep for Gnarly. Right there, like so. And sure, we'll do that one. And we'll clear these out here. Though you're still going to sleep at night because you're going to run out of rest. But David, let's see who's here. Must be in Sea Stars. You're fine, and Sea Stars is going to be fine soon. Where are you right now? You're watching television. You're getting your joy up. Then you'll grab some food, and then you'll yeah, you'll be okay. Um, what was I just saying? Um, David, that's what I want. Day night crew, good. Need you to give me some lights over here. You're going to get some cloth into these rooms over here. Just put some random colors in this one. We'll see what that looks like when it's done. But David, after you've done that, pop up here and just get some of these guys going. So do that one right there. See how many you actually reach. Otherwise, we'll have you do that one. Okay. Otherwise, what's going on? We did get some of the armchair is done, some goat hide, got some turkey being worked on. So David may work on that through the night, we'll see. Now what was I doing here? I was doing red in the corners, just kind of random, well, we'll see, this may have been a may have been a brain fart there, we'll, we'll see how it works. These four rooms are unoccupied, so I'm just kind of filling them in. We've got to do something because there's two different colors floor in there, so you see the transitions, though I may just smooth this one. Cyprint, you are Rusting. Okay, how are we looking for cleanliness down here? You are amniotic fluid? You are. Somebody messed up Billy's room big time. Cyprin, could you Billy, do Billy a favor? Can you go clean that up for me? Thank you. Billy, where are you at? You're up for the night, actually. You're not there. Not there, Billy. You are up here because you got nothing to work with. So... You'll make some stone, then you'll carry that stone over to, uh, no, okay, great, you just keep making stone, perfect. Carry it over to make a sculpture, but that's fine. We're, we're actually sculptures. We are pretty sculptured out at the moment. Let's pause and do some reading. In fact, it seems like there was one more. Any of them get hauled over here? You did. White cubic, yeah, there was one that I had set to move over here, and I guess somebody randomly did it. All right, let's read this one. So, White Cubic by Cyprian uh, bears reputation, representation of Billy inscribing his name on a sculpture with a gleam in his eye. Innumerable cooks marvel at the device. If you squint your eyes, the square composition of the image reveals the outline of a jellyfish. The image is totally devoid of both misery and distance. This artwork relates to Billy finishing construction on a sculpture. That's a classic Cyprian sculpture there. <laughs> <laughs> um, right here we've got um, George packing supplies for a journey e and equipped for exploration. Six weavers watch from a distance. The subjects are in front of a crag while the work is executed in a folksy style. This portrayal tells the story of George forming a caravan on 7th of Jugast. This one made by Cyprian. Who made the last one? Billy did. Cyprian made a 200... A uh, wooden large sculpture called Gray Sweat. This piece illustrates a chimpanzee wearing a bow tie standing on the ground. 
the lower part of the image is dominated by a forest. The imagery is totally devoid of both harmony and isolation. Here we've got a Cyprian 500 Beauty, shame number eight, about Eric. <laughs> An artwork of Eric gazing into the distance in radiating serenity. Two drunkards gaze upon him. There is a forest near the edge of the image and the work suggests the concept of elegance. This illustration tells the story of Eric meditating on the 3rd of Jugast. We've got a Billy Beauty of 350 wooden sculpture called Vision 4. On this carving is an image of Oath Knight looking toward the horizon and equipped for survival. Two marauders shrink away from the scene. A smuggler lies beneath the main subject while the work is executed in a cell shaded style this illustration tells the story of oath knight departing for adventure on the 13th of april may one more we've got billy 350 beauty the, a lonesome thirst this carving represents a village the lower part of the image is dominated by a hill the image is totally devoid of both family and privation okay and there's our, our art lesson for the day. Let these guys take off. But we need to find homes. I found homes for two of them. No, I guess not. There were two. I think they've been moved out. That'll be one. Now, I think this was the other one I'm thinking of. So that one's going to go there. Two of them that look the same, symmetrical around this. David is busy making, uh, what do you call them, armchairs. And... <laughs> We've got a mad animal, and not on our map. There's no arrow pointing to something. So there's a mad animal over here. This map is, is this map was quite uh, active from the very beginning. We had what two or three animal mad animal things. The emus hit us over here. Got the mad rat, who is just wandering. He doesn't know where to go. Hmm, what's he gonna do? He's got nothing to be mad about. <laughs> Who's up? Tomislav. Oh, they're they're not well, um, okay. Natalia is making blocks. <laughs> and Alicia is hauling marble because she was set to hauling in order to handle this thing. Are you up for a while? You're ready to rest. Darn. Gotta catch you where you at? You're dropping off over in there. I've got to catch you at the beginning of the day to continue your job of, of cremating. And probably best just to have you do the hauling. I think so. I'm just going to have to spend a day moving these things. Um, how are we doing gardening-wise? Well, most of Texas is planted. We're, yeah, we've still got a long way to go. Quite a bit of this got done. Um, you, I reset for corn. I left this one for cotton. Reset you for potato. And you're all potato. And all of these I reset for other things. Rice. Oh, that got left as cotton. Let's take you up to... Oh, we'll do potato there too. And up here is going to be rice. And I assume rice... You're... You're waiting for a selection. Okay, let's make you rice as well. Where am I? Right there. You are rice you are rice this is the rice area up here so yeah we don't need to do any more actually that's a lot of rice how long did it take for the the corn to grow corn there you are 11 days we don't have it okay so you actually your potato your where's the one i said for corn I don't know. Okay, I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. Nope, okay, good, because there isn't time to plant it anyway. So what is done here is all we're gonna get out of it. But I'd say we've got most of a winter in food already sitting here. So what doesn't get planted is probably not that important right now. Probably not. So how are we doing here? Connected, we're holding, going through the night. We're still making more than we need to. So let's shut down two of wood or chem fuel. 
We've been running chem fuel pretty solid. We're actually starting to run down on our chem fuel. We are. Six is a little too much. Let's take down one chem fuel. Let's take down one wood. And we'll see how we go through the night next time. Sangri's on her way. She's figured out how to walk down the center of the of the uh, the new pathway here. The pig has two. Ooh, maybe we've recalculated. Can Casper? Casper's got it figured out. Billy, he's not quite got it figured out yet, though. So no, we're still we're still walking through flower, flower plants there. Um, what are you? You are turkey leather. Okay, we're gonna have four different colors in here. We'll see how that looks when it's finished. Otherwise, Billy went and got himself some some blocks to to work with. Yeah, he uh, he says I'm I'm not I'm not doing any more uh, block cutting him. I'm gonna get back to to making sculptures. Um, meals. One thirty-eight, twenty-eight, one twenty. We're going for tw one twenty, going for thirty, and going for one fifty. So it won't be long before they're done with that. They'll get up and do some more butchering. The last of these guys done, that meat brought into here, which probably sooner than later, because Shantigo is making kibble up in there, and Oath Knight is replacing what he just used to. Okay, that works. That tag team, that's good. Uh, did ask for a lot of trees to be cut down. Oh, it's daytime. Alicia, where are you at? You are sleeping. Needs. You've got a ways to go. Let's. Although. Ha! Ah, I gotta get you to eat. You should have had a meal before you went to bed. So you're just gonna have to go to bed early tonight. When you're done with that, then go directly to here and and do some more of these. Great. Otherwise, we risk freaking everybody out who walks through here. They're going to see more than five corpses all at one time. That's That's got to be rough. Huck is bringing meals over. we got ten of them over here now. And we never really did get finished over here, and it didn't quite work out. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll let it finish. This is kind of interesting. So a, a dark and a green in the middle. Okay, I don't remember what I did here. You're green, you're green, you're all green. Okay. So this would look good with the opposite. I like the way that this came out. Let's... Let's cancel... There to there. And put in white carpeting there. And then maybe let's cancel there to there and put green carpeting in there. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we could put white carpeting right there. Okay, we'll play with those. See what they how they come out. Working on here. We just we need more blocks. So, oh, it's because we're making clothes. That's why my block cutters aren't out here. Clothing wise, what have we got? Bench. We're almost done. Okay, we'll get the last duster done and call it done. Sure, that works. Eric, you are going to... You're hauling more turkey leather. Okay, you guys just keep delivering. In fact, can I just do that? Andy, you are, if I can catch you. You're going in for something else. So you went for turkey. You're going for turkey as well. And you got a full load. Good. All right, that's working out well. The pigs have picked up all the last of the stuff. Good. Um, we're not cleaned up over here. Is it because we don't have a home zone over here? No, nope. Our home zone has expanded into everything. Okay. Uh, nothing to update. Not really. It's looking pretty good. Okay. Otherwise, Rabbit, what you doing? You are wearing a new t-shirt. So clothing is what I was looking for. I've asked for... I don't know, seven or eight extras all the way through. Shirts, pants, jackets, uh, parkas, lots of different hats, lots of toques. I'd say we're looking pretty good here. Yeah, I think so. Sea Stars, you are wearing a new leather duster that somebody just made and dropped off, and you're going to grab a meal. Okay. Did you drop that one off? You did. 55%. Somebody's going to haul it out of here, bring it up to here, if it's below, 
I think 60% drop it off in this area. Yeah. Otherwise, just kind of watching. Surprise, there hasn't been another raid yet. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, that will hit. Harvey is bringing in... Boom, there you are. To where? Probably to this area. Lost you. You went this way. Ah, oh, bring it to the prison. Okay, that's good. Assuming we ever use it again. There you go. And then you are... Consuming a packet survival meal. Interesting. I couldn't ask any of our people to go and pick up these meals because they are reserved for prisoners. But Harvey doesn't doesn't uh, give a rip. He's going to eat it anyway. Huh. Well, okay. I guess so. Huh. Just wonder if I want to do a fast forward and get this done. Something like Farming Simulator. When you get to where it's just kind of a lull and you're just driving back and forth and back and forth, I would fast forward the uh, the video at that point, put some music in the background. But the problem with RimWorld, at any moment something can drop in. Hmm. Well, what else is there to do? What excitement can we make up? Ooh. I know what we could do. Hmm. Daniel was asking about this a long time ago. Gnarly, though, has a pretty good run speed. So does Handy. Handy, what you doing right now? You're over there. When you finish that, why don't you come over and... Where'd you go? And pop this block out of here. Let's just see what's inside this. Probably nothing. It's a small room. So I doubt there's anything in there. But it would be interesting to at least, you know, prove that. Anything else going on as far as walls that lead to nowhere? I don't think there are. Still have these two to get back to. Took down a wall that was here. Right in there. Still have one to go. Deconstruct you. It may go further in. Uh, Handy, did you get to moving? You are moving. Okay. And you've got an assault rifle with you in case you need it. Wild boars given birth. Animals. Wild boars. Sangria for a puppy. You're there, there, and there. Okay. Uh, turkeys. Over here, wild boars. Right there. And need to set you for none. That is all correct, and we're good down there. Okay, and Handy, you're just about getting there. Let's try to keep an eye on you. We're mostly replanted, re replanted in here. That's good. Haven't got back in there yet, right? No. I was going to go look for animals. Maybe we'll do a hunt or something, but that's what got me thinking about, uh, about this area. I don't know what's inside there. Might be more exciting. Oh, we're finally... Pause. George failed. We're finally building up in here. Interesting. That was the last one, right? Yeah, we finally have walls around everything. So, Handy, you're just getting there. What you got? If there's nothing, then we might not slate. Huh. Might just deconstruct this. Okay, well, there's our answer. Let's take the roof off. Uh, remove roof right there. And let's deconstruct the whole thing. Handy. Hauling deer hide. Uh, home zone? Expand home zone. Okay, handy. Hauling deer hide. Why can't I get you to take the roof down? What did I do wrong there? Remove roof. You are brightly lit. Oh, there's no roof? <laughs> Wait a minute here. 
brightly lit. There never was a roof. Okay, well, Andy, why don't you spend some time destroying all of these? And we'll make use of those blocks. Now, are you one of my wild boars? You're not. Somebody will pop up here and haul all these down. So we've got... I don't know what it's going to be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 18, 19, 20, 122 times 4. Almost 100 slate blocks. Given birth. We're going to have a lot of given births here pretty soon. Uh, break of sea stars. Who is just... Night owl during the daytime. Ah, sea stars. Ah, uh, here. There we go. That's our problem. Sleep. You are right there. Okay, that took care of that. You are silver. All right. All boars pregnant, so we have more animals pop in. You three need to all go here. And we're good. We're good. All right. Hey, Billy's Boomalope is visiting. Boomalope number five. Yep, first time I've seen that. Did we get finished here? We did not. Hmm. Well, who can I just get to do that? Do we still have cloth? That isn't our problem, is it? Cloth, still at 4,500. All right, I need somebody like an Eric who is right next to Cloth to pop over here and just put these in for me. Perfect. Let's see what they look like. Let's see. Uh, of course, we're not symmetrical. That's probably part of the problem. We'll see. If I put three, uh, two red there, I don't know. Pop these in. Let's. Oh, we, we brought lots of extra. Okay. Brought green. There we go. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, what do you do with that pattern? Huh. You put in floors red there and there. <laughs> There's no saving it. There, there truly isn't. Red around the border. <laughs> Red in the middle, blue there, blue there. That's what saves it. Okay, Eric, why don't you work on these just out of curiosity? And you, you know, okay, let's. All right, let's do this the hard way. Um, no, clear. Work on, work on, work on. That should leave enough for you to actually fill in all the rest. Sure, we'll do all of them like this. So, Handy is just finishing over here. Nothing fell on her. Good. Eric is tearing all these down. Before pickets are ordered to do anything with them. Oh, Oz, don't do it. Don't do it. Honk. Huck. No. Guys, you're, you're too helpful. Come on, fill them all in. Grab them all. Don't let them have them. Quickly. Grab them all. <laughs> oh, these guys. Okay. Fill them all in for me, and now you got to go get more. Yep, you're consuming a fine meal. Then when you're done, come on back and redo it. Okay, well, best laid plans. What time are we? About 35 minutes into this. Another wild boar is pregnant. <laughs> okay, lighting in here. What do we do with lighting? Do we do torches through the entire structure here? Or do we go with these guys? And where do we put them? Hmm. Probably these have to go. Where do these have to go? Let's cancel these. And for now, we'll stick in the torches just to see what they look like. Right there and there. Mad animal, and it's still not in our area. And you're going to be 
what is that? Oh, the torch, the red right there is for the torch, okay. Um, near this pillar? I don't know where else to put them to make them look symmetrical. May have to just remove something like a planter or a statue or something. Oh, we get those two built in. You are the other map. I'll tell you, this map here has got serious animal problems. We had two attacks that time we were there. We've had two attacks today. Yeah, this would have been a... I don't know what's going on with the animals in this map, but it's uh, it's got problems. Billy's going for a meal. And high-five to Natalia. What else is... Is happening here. We still can't get these guys in because we're still not making them fast enough. We're probably making statues faster than we can. Yeah. Cyprian, you are <clears throat> milking Penny. <clears throat> Alright, we're nighttime, right? 2100 powers down and we are dropping. Okay, I'd be curious to see what's going to happen here. And that's right, I set that for tearing apart. David, let's do a tear apart. No, David's sleeping needs uh, he's yeah he can get up watch him for no let's consume a fine meal and then I want you to tear this down where is where am I up here go ahead and de deconstruct that one and then let's get this stuff filled in and that's all back to normal again and then we need this one which is limestone so floors limestone need that area done and we got to see the deep drilling we got to see how it worked, and that it doesn't work too well. If I did something wrong, let me know. But I told a miner, I told a craftsman, I told a, a hauler, and I think there was a fourth job description. I had them sit there and operate it, and they wouldn't stay unless you babysat them. So if there's something I did wrong, fill me in. But I'm, I've given up on those. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just do without. It was interesting to, to see it, though. And this over here still waiting for results on this guy so long range scanner let's check the world map and see if we're getting any blips yet they said every 30 days so I suggest to me it's possible that it's going to take 30 days for the first evidence to show up though it'd be nicer if over a period of 30 days it would start to gradually pop in and around but I'm not getting any sense unless you got to click on it and terrain and have something show up there you know, under a special category or something. But otherwise, over here, Diamond is falling apart, but she is getting some food and then she's going to bed. And that's going to boost her up and over. That'll be fine. Um, there was another one. Alicia is. She's got enough food to get through a night and she's going to bed. All right. And who was the last one? That was Daniel. What's with Daniel? Daniel's grabbing a meal, and then he's going to go to bed. And his joy is in pretty rough shape, too. It is 2300. Yep, he's resting. All right. Well, he's heading for there. He'll joy in the morning, so he'll be okay. Too bad they can't uh, joy at night somehow. You know, a radio playing or something. I don't know. Some way to... to uh, have the joys, you know, it, I guess comfort is, is what goes up if your bed is really good quality. Get your comfort level up. Um, all right, we got this one done. It's a big bullseye. Yep, it is. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> mad animal. Finally here, we got a mad animal. A turkey. <sighs> Anybody outside? Miss P's outside. Miss P, why don't you pop down into here for me? Let's get you out of door. <clears throat> Mad Turkey is slowly making his way in. Going after Miss P. Otherwise, outsides, that's it. That's it. And Gnarly is over there. Did Alicia ever... Yeah, she did. She cleaned this one up. So she has been working. And that's probably what... what no? Alicia, that didn't freak you out. You're in such bad shape because... Nothing about corpses. Okay, so that wasn't it. Anyway, it must be... And who, I, who do I get to come help you? Who's up that can shoot? Handy is... 
making more eleven. Okay, um, Natalia is up. She can shoot. So, <clears throat> where to put you? Let's think about that. What are you making right now? You're making a revolver. No, you equipped a revolver. You're making an armor vest. We need them. So that's fine. And we still have components. And I'm assuming by now they built everything that was waiting for our components. We're sitting good for the end of the series. Good. Natalia, let's get you drafted. Yep. And up here to assist somehow. Let's put you into here. And we'll have Mr. P eventually run down into here should that be necessary. Though, just to speed things up. Let's have you right there. Uh, that's what I want. Hold open and hold open. We'll let the turkey run right through. Just so we have to wait for the turkey to go all the way up and through and down and around to get back to us. But it would be easier. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's reverse that. You're there. You're there. You're going there. Natalia, where are you? Right there. You're going here. That'll be fine. You guys can... In fact, Miss P, you can go here. And that will keep it running back and forth and back and forth while you're both shooting at it. I think that will take care of a turkey just fine. <clears throat> Gnarly, you are working at night. Working on these guys. Great. Um, David, when you're finished with that, bring the wood that's needed to get these two going. Miss P, I want to see those lights. Turkey is probably coming around the horn right there because we've got everything blocked now with doors. <clears throat> Natalia, now you're making your way up there. Good. Otherwise, really nothing more exciting happening. <laughs> Turkey's coming in for the attack. Miss P, you're getting ready to... One more. One more. One. Got him. All right. I didn't doubt you at all. I knew you'd, you'd wipe him out. Digging a comeback to machinery? Sure. And Natalia doesn't haul. Okay, that's fine. Somebody else will come get the turkey. All right. So, it, was that the excitement for the, for the day? I'm, I'm kind of wondering. It just might have been. Wild Boar's giving birth. Well, there's, we've done that three times already. Um, I was going to say four of them? No! we got two more. And we need a nun, a nun, a nun, and a nun. Okay, you're all good. That's Billy's Boomalope. And anything else to read in here? Otherwise, I think we're finished. You, shame number eight. Vision 4, Gray Sweat, Death Number 7, and Lonesome Thirst. Nope, they're all what they uh, what we thought they were. You have got 175 left, and Grandma is going to give it a try. We must have all of our meals done and all of our kibble done, and we're in good shape. Yep, with that, I think it's probably time to call us done. Tomorrow, I'll try to remember to get Alicia back into working on this guy and get this cleaned up. And then it's just getting little stuff's done here and there, getting the Great Hall happening, which is kind of happening. Let's take another peek at this. Any thoughts on what to do next? So I see we tore that down. We've got a few uh, uh, components left over. But this is going to look good. Do we bring in with the, uh, the black uh, granite flagstone into here? I think we do. Let's... Do I have any? You are... Granite flagstone, okay. I think that would look best as a border for that. Yeah, that works. Pathways forming in there. That is... What are you? You're granite. Let's go to marble? I think that's marble. You go there and there. You are marble, yeah. So the pathway continues through. Kind of a dead zone right there. Didn't know what to do for flooring with that. Do we just continue that through? We could, though it makes it look funny over here to have white out there. Hmm. Anyway, any other ideas in here? What happens in these spaces? We've got our new K-1 
caravan um, setup area right there. And that looks better over there, more of a utility area. That would, that would look strange bringing the, the animals into here. But what happens in these areas? How, what do we do with the extra statues? Where do they actually go? They just kind of sit randomly in pathway you know, uh, on borders? Or do they are they museum pieces and we just set them up random throughout the middle of all these? It's just one big museum of statues. Don't know. Diamond brought up the idea of shelving units where we can display some of our best weapons. That's kind of interesting. Where do they physically sit? Let me grab one. Right there. Copy. Are they... I wish I could go diagonal. That's kind of the problem. Put one there, one there, and one there. Boom, boom, boom. And the same thing over here. Or do we just put one there and one there? Like that. And... Hmm. Don't know how to make it look good in this corner. Anyway... Any more ideas, throw them at me. And yeah, I'm going to call this one done. So Noble Rambler, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.